What is up guys? Today we're going to take a look at my top 80 carries moving into patch 6.12. It's been like a month or more maybe since the last time I did one of these, but I'm going to start doing them more regularly whenever I feel like enough has changed. Anyway, we're going to go over my top 5, then a few honorable mentions at the end, but for this video let me know who your best AD is and why in the comments. I actually think for like the first time in months we're finally seeing some more AD carry diversity now, which is awesome. You can play most things and win, but let's jump into our best picks at number 5 with Jin. Remember these five are the ones I think you can carry the hardest with and for Jin either build actually works It's kind of Korean AD arm pen one or the crit now with 20 more AD from Essence Reaver Infinity Edge and Last Whisper The armor pen ghost bait and stuff is really strong early to mid game Which is where I think you're actually best like at the moment I know a lot of people think Jin is really good late game But in my opinion like right now in this kind of meta he's best mid game You have very heavy poke either way like you have really good trades as well It's like one of the easiest trades ever honestly you auto attack on your third you Q, you auto with the crit and you're sorted. You just run away and they can't do anything. You are a really good AD cast. So you're great right now to spike earlier into the game. Plus you do a lot of damage from really far away. Like Jin is kind of weird though because I have won games where I probably didn't even auto attack in team fights. Like I can catch people with my W and set up my team. I can ult to snipe and do some damage. But like the reason he can carry so hard is because he has that damage but also the utility aspect. You are really strong when you're using both of these ways to win. You get ahead and you just nail everyone with your damage you go even or you're behind and you just set up your team to win the fights with your root and slow but yeah okay so specifically like this patch both his builds are good lucian has dropped down a little bit which kind of means he has more room to come up now as like another really good ad caster and also by the way like a side note he is an amazing pair with zyra that lane is disgusting so at number four we've got Siva, and this is a really good excuse to talk about the kind of ad carry meta in general so Siva is not the most amazing hard carry ad out there that's for sure but she offers way more as a package every time I get the word package you guys go full pervy in the comments But I just don't know what else to call it like top lane has moved to carry champions So is jungle so is mid even support as well So basically we already have the damage to kill stuff on our team and Siva is one of the best at enabling them to do it We just press R we all we run at them you dish out some good damage But you let your team do more too, which is just kind of perfect right now So utility aside we still have this crazy W crit bounce thing, which is just ridiculous But yeah, we click we bounce Bounce, we crit we win she does benefit from the ad item buffs a lot this patch like 20 more ad now from a build she'd get anyway and for free by the way think of it like a bf sword is 40 right that's half of a bf sword for free siva's impact on a game is definitely underrated like it's not that amazing early a lot of her power isn't obvious she doesn't one shot people it's just like consistent aoe damage one of the problems is she doesn't do amazingly well against like ad caster types Jin is okay ash isn't fun though neither is misfortune and this again is going to make it feel like you're doing worse than you actually are if you're losing trades you can just group up you ult in and you win that way for sure like Siva is one of the best ad carries for being carried while also being able to carry it's like the best of both worlds which is really good considering you can't always get fed in a game by the way as well i actually love phantom dancer now second on her at the moment it kind of helps with these carry picks diving at you plus good crit attack speed which helps a lot in team fights so taking our bronze medal is the one and only Caitlyn. Actually the only one of these really popular picks to make it. Caitlyn right now is in a really good spot. Especially if we're maxing our traps out first and playing that way. A lane phase is really good. We poke, we trap, we zone and we build up quite a big lead. Even against these kind of super strong AD casters. At least for a little bit anyway. One of the biggest problems is you're going to have this kind of dip at your, like, your first item. So Jin, Misfortune, Ash are all better with one item than Kate is. And she needs a bit of time to get later into the game. The traps are going to help a little bit. It adds some damage, but control to try and stop fights to get things for free mid game without actually having to team fight. Late game, she is still one of the best. Headshots are going to hurt so much. You have loads of attack speed and crit with that range as well to make it so annoying. There are a few things specifically this patch though. So your lane phase can keep these kind of snowbally picks in check a little bit. Like you have your traps and net. It makes it near impossible to get kills on you. Even mid game as well, you can net away from divers. Even though we do dip mid game as well, we have these other characters picks to do damage and help us while we're lacking but late game we're safe with our net we can zone and it's one of like the hardest picks to actually get onto and deal with overall the meta is in a really good spot for her and she's very reliable for climbing right now which is kind of what we want when we're actually trying to climb the ladder so the runner-up spot is going to be misfortune right now this ghost blade dust blade black cleaver build is just something else on her i don't even understand on lucian or Jin or whoever else is solid it shreds tanks heavy armor pen and ad to make our abilities hurt but on misfortune instead of 
of just nailing that tank or one person, you're literally hitting everybody in the ultimate. The other day, I actually just built Ghost Blade, Black Cleaver, Dust Blade, and then a Guardian Angel after to see if I still had enough damage, and I still wrecked people. I don't get it. It shouldn't be that good, but it is. Your lane phase is one of the weaker phases for you, but you have your Q bounce, which can half health people if it crits. You have good love tap trades with your passive autos as well, and that's up to something I don't see many people using, and they still win trades, which is really dumb. You have to make it rain to slow in a fight or to run away. You have your ultimate kill pressure as well, but in team fights, you literally just press R at the right time, hitting multiple people, and that's it. You've won. Misfortune used to be this lane bully who had a good mid game, but auto attacks didn't do enough to really make her late game that amazing, and now, though, her win rate is about the same or higher later into the game. It's crazy. The amount of damage we pack onto the ult now really makes a difference. I honestly think, unless you pick a heavy dive comp and get her before she ults or you manage to cancel it, then you're in for a real problem. If you're looking for a hard carry champion with damage, then this is the best you can get right now. Now that might seem a bit weird because an AD carry's job is to do damage, right? And I just said Miss Fortune was the best there, so why is she not number one? Maybe last season that actually would have put her at number one, but right now on this patch, it's not all about damage. It's the utility you bring to the table as well, especially with all these kind of carry picks flying around. Ash is just the most well-rounded AD carry for climbing and carrying a game. If you get ahead, then you have insane damage and you can kite for days. If you get behind, then you slow, you make it harder for them to kill you and you get picks with your arrow. I have honestly never won as many games where I've fed my ass off as I have with Ash. I get boned in lane, I get camped, I'm bad, whatever it is, but I still hit a few arrows to the knee. We get a dragon, towers, a baron, and suddenly we're winning. I actually feel kind of bad for that joke because that was terrible. So this play style, as we said, is even better in 612 because we have damage in the jungle, top, mid, even support. So it's fine for us to help them do more and just engage. Especially at lower ranks, people just don't see the arrow coming and they play way too far forward. If you're proactive, you look for times when someone steps too far forward and it kind of makes for a pretty easy game, actually. Now her range and poke makes her so annoying to deal with in lane as well. I think actually getting like an essence reaver first is the best thing right now. Spamming volley is the easiest way to build a lead up. She's going to shred like bruises and tanks as well. She has a lot of team fight impact and a lot of that is her build with her key ranges focus. So essence reaver, infinity edge, runes, last whisper, that's 20 more AD than normal before a lot of damage, cooldown reduction and attack speed plus that kind of AOE slow. Fun fact actually for Ash, did you know that her Q technically counts as five small arrows shot together? That means that it applies five stacks of black cleaver in one auto attack, which is kind of dumb. So those are my top five, but I kind of want to mention a few others here before we end the video. Now Ezreal is also really good, but I feel like there are just kind of others who do what he does but better right now. This is coming from someone who loves Ezreal, but his mid game is supposed to be really good with cheap items, but we have like a Misfortune or a Jin now who do that a little bit better. The biggest difference is he's going to have more mobility and can keep himself safe. I still do honestly think that he can solo carry a game. Like you have a crap team, it doesn't matter because you can kite and poke Endlessly, but it's just kind of harder with the others here now. I do want to mention Lucian as well because he's not terrible, but he's not as strong as he was now. I honestly thought the nerfs to him weren't that bad, but playing him just doesn't feel as good anymore. Part of this is because Misfortune takes a royal dump on him, so she's kind of like a better version of him at the moment. I'm going to be testing out the old crit build again though, because I think that might actually be pretty good. Jinx is another one that is doing pretty well right now, but not quite top five. But damage wise, actually, she's really solid. Like, she's really high up there for damage. The thing is, we kind of want some utility as well, not just damage. So Jinx is best against like beefy tanks who she shreds, right? Not so much these Irelia or Jax picks who dive onto her and make her cry. She's still decent, but while we are kind of seeing a ton of damage everywhere, she's just not the best. The last honorable mention is for Twitch. I still think he's really strong, but just never ever really popular. It doesn't matter how good he is, he's never that popular. He's a different playstyle to most AD carries, and that's probably why, I think, but he can snowball really well, output a lot of damage in a 1v1 or in a team fight. Again, we don't just want damage, but kind of at least Twitch can sneak up on people and open up that way, snowball a game, almost acting like an AD assassin, so he has another angle. I kind of want to tag something new on the end of this, just like a summary, I guess, highlighting what each of these are actually really good at. So for Ash, like, she's the best all around, right? Really good damage, kite, and engage as well, whereas Misfortune is more like just about damage, like the highest damage, I think, out of any of these and an absolutely crazy team fight. Caitlyn, you really pick to crush the lane phase, kind of get through your crappy mid game and then you just have this amazing late game, whereas Sivir is kind of the same in a way, but you just have this damage and utility added together. Jin is kind of just the most effective AD carry from the highest range. Like, you can be a whole screen away at the moment and still have a really big impact, which means you don't even need to be in the fight. Like, you can be a bit behind and still do a lot. For the honorable mentions, Ezreal is a really good solo carry, but can't really keep up as much 
much later into the game. Jinx is a mobile but has very high damage. Lucian was slapped with the nerf bat a lot but still probably the most aggressive AD and Twitch just has very high damage and snowball potential. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Remember to like, subscribe, comment and share but for now let's go to the robots. <laughs>